Hello friends and welcome to my channel and uh, this video is in continuation to my previous video where I had shown you uh, how to create different unit of studies for your children uh, for your convenience. It's for you as a parent, it's for your convenience and for a planned learning. Uh, you know many times it happens that uh, we are very active, we do several activities Sometimes we read books, sometimes you uh, do particular activity related to maps, sometimes you do some activity related to uh, the solar system, then some logic activity, etc. And we keep on doing activities without proper planning. So this unit of study, the pur purpose of uh, creating a different unit of study is that you have a systematic and a planned method of what you want to teach your children. Uh, in my previous video, I had shown you the three unit of studies. I had created these three DIY boxes and you had seen that uh, the one unit of study, that one box contained everything related to geography, subject geography. Second box had everything related to animals and third box had everything related to solar system. And now I have added three more unit of studies. As you can see, this box has been added, a box below has been added and one more um subject is added which is in this drawer i'll show you uh okay so without wasting much time let me start the video if you have not seen my previous video i will uh, link it here below uh, so these three i have already done a video uh this fourth unit of study as you can see it is written memory and concentration so this box includes everything every material relate, related to uh, and enhancing the children's child's memory uh, for example i'll show you this is uh, one space memory activity and uh, uh, what the child has to do is i'll tell you uh, the we uh, we have to give this particular blank grid to a child uh, and what we have to do is we have to show this picture for 5 seconds and then we just have to provide these cards to the child. For example, here are these 5 cards, these 5 types of cards. I am, yeah. And what the child has to do is for 5 seconds he will see the picture, he will remember which car, which object is placed in which grid and then you have to hide this picture and then give this blank grid to the child and the child will then you know paste i mean the picture as like this or however i have not seen i don't remember like how it was but this is a good exercise for a child's memory development i will try to make a separate uh, video of how we play these memory game it's a very good uh, game to enhance uh, the memory skills and uh, I have uh, pictures on both the side the child has to remember it if your child I mean uh, if it's too young you can just show the picture and uh, describe it for example uh, if I take this one like uh, you show it for five seconds like this blank cap Tom cat blank cookies and then you hide it and then give this uh, grid and ask the child to, uh, you know, uh, create the same grid here. I'll do a separate video. You will have more understanding uh, after that. So these are the few space memory uh, sheets I have. Uh, yeah. Okay. I have laminated these cards. And if you want uh, the link of this printable, do let me know in the comment section. Okay. This was one. The next uh, uh, next activity for memory is uh, I had these cards. Uh, these this was these are from a game called Fliddle. If you have seen my previous videos, uh, you might have seen this uh, my educational hall where I have given a description about this game. So these cards are from that game. And what I do is I take three cards, for example. You take starfish, penguin, 
and window for example and you create a story out of it for example i'll show this card like this to shivansh right and and make a story of it for example shivansh look at this the starfish and penguin jumped out of the window where is the starfish so the child will do this where is the window so child will you know uh, reveal that card and uh, like this it can be three cards it can be four cards it can be five cards you start with three cards see how the child is uh, you know enjoying the game and then you can later on increase the number of cards to four five and for older children uh, the number can be as long as six and seven so it's a good you know memory development exercise okay this was the another one to develop memory for this also if possible i'll do a separate video for your uh, understanding uh, third i have this uh, dot to dot activity book and uh, i had uh, seen i had learned from somewhere that uh, a uh, child uh, you know real it's uh, this dot to dot activity really helps in developing the concentration in them so i had uh, uh this book i will uh, i bought i think from amazon i'll uh, link it in the description this one i uh, one of my friend had the book and i uh, just took the xerox of the entire thing because uh, this book was uh, of something about 400 to 500 rupees and i thought it's not uh, i mean uh, necessary to buy that book i just did a xerox and uh, put it in this uh, um, plastic sheets and uh, my son uses a marker and does the activity and you can again reuse it so this is a nice idea if you you know this becomes reusable so this is a dot to dot activity for developing the concentration uh yeah uh, this is it i have this much in my uh unit of study for memory and concentration i keep on searching for uh, new games for memory it, you can you know create many games for uh with the help of your uh, all the objects available in your home you can hide the things you can take three or four glasses hide different small small objects inside and then you can ask the child uh you know reveal it uh, show these objects for a 5 second hide them in the glass and then you ask them where is this object where is that object so you can play an n number of uh, memory games um if you want more ideas i am already searching for no, uh, new ideas and uh, if possible i'll let you know in my separate video for memory and concentration uh yeah so that was it okay uh excuse me the next unit of study is this is a box it says math so i am actually um you know wanting to teach my son math he knows uh much of the subject from math like he knows addition counting 1 to 10 but he is still not aware of the addition so here i have made a list what i want to teach him in math it's like numbers 1 to 100 sequencing numbers 1 to 100 identifying through flash cards skip counting odd numbers skip counting even numbers missing after numbers missing before numbers addition 1 to 5 clock by hour clock by half an hour he already knows clock by hour but it would be a good revision then clock by half an hour and other math worksheet for practice so uh, i'll show you one by one what is this i have just made a list for my reference and um, let's check out what's in it okay so first of all this is a clock foam clock if you want from where i bought it i bought it from amazon i'll uh, link it below in the description box so that is one we have a book on what's the time and this too i bought from amazon this book is from i think early learning i think ladybird books yeah i will paste the link if you want so this is a book on what's the time it's mostly time by hour only a good book you know to teach them about day and night and what you do at different time period there is a clock here so it becomes easy for you okay so that is a book for time what next we have is this is a simple edition of cookies 
the child has to count the chocolate chips on the cookies and paste it uh here yeah. so my son already knows addition so it's 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 i have kept this because you know this uh, co uh, these uh, chocolate chips and uh, you know randomly placed it is not placed uh, you know sequentially like it is placed randomly so this becomes sometimes becomes difficult for a child to count like 1 2 3 4 5 6 it's possible that one cookie, one chocolate chip he misses or doesn't count then he carry counts it again so already he knows 1 to 10 addition but still i have uh, i have kept it here okay what is next this is a worksheet or activity again for uh, time by hour uh this is another activity just uh, i use these uh, popsicle sticks and i have numbered those popsicle sticks and uh, this i use to have for number recognition 1 to 10 for sequencing and here it is 1 to 20 uh next is this activity from 1 to 32 and the child has to just put the numbers here and the entire picture uh is revealed this is another number puzzle here um uh, this i have 1 to 100 like uh, 1 to 10 uh 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 so what the child has to put is he has to put this um uh, you know pieces in sequence this number in sequence and a picture appears so this is again uh, we were last doing 20 to 30 now it's trying to 30 for 30 to 40 until 100 i have these puzzles guys if any link that you want please do let me know in the comment box uh see this i have this these uh, strips still uh, i think it was 1 to 100 i have many sticks like this so yeah uh yeah this was 40 to 50 so yeah i i just took this uh, you know some uh, packaging that had come to me the some order something i had ordered from first cry and the packaging was like this so i used it uh, uh, you know i made a number of puzzle like this i have pasted the velcro sticker on both the sides okay next is this uh, diy book as you know that i make several diy books this is a book for what time is it and it is all about time by hour only yeah so next is yeah this is uh, number 1 to 10 like uh, this is just plain paper a4 size i have taken and uh, numbered them from 1 to 10 and what i am going to do is i am going to place these papers like this and i am going to teach him skip counting by jumping on the paper for example if you want to teach odd numbers skip counting by odd numbers uh you have to lay these papers from 1 to 10 and ask the child to jump on uh so number 1 and then skip 2 and jump on number 3 and skip 4 and jump on number 5 and so on so it's, it is just a uh you know diy activity to learn skip counting then i have these uh, flash cards these two can be used in different ways so back side there are pictures this if you want to uh, make them long num number quantities this card is useful now i'll be use using it for different purposes uh these are just few manipulatives these are the manipulatives the, there are numbers 1 to 10 uh this is just a diy dice this is a plus signature since i'm going to teach him addition okay how am i going to teach addition is this uh, i have these uh, beads with me from creatives again and uh, i have these cards these are uh, pending to be laminated and uh, what we are going to do is for example if we pick this card 3 plus 2 and i'm going to ask the son my son to you know place uh, these beads against the number and then i am going to teach him addition like 3 plus 2 1 2 3 4 5 so 3 plus 2 is 
5 and then we can use this number 5 for example yeah yeah so in this way we can learn addition so i think these cards are from uh, learning addition 0 to 5 and uh, yeah this is how we are going to learn addition with the help of beads with the help of manipulators uh, or you can use these cubes also previously i had thought i'll use these cubes uh, but these cards are too small so i'll be using beads you can use cubes also you have to have some manipulatives you know good attractive manipulatives when you are teaching maths to your children okay and the last thing is this hundreds board you might have already seen my review on this hundreds board this can be used in several ways to learn skip counting to learn number recognition from 1 to 100 etc etc so this if you have not seen my previous video uh, i'll link it below so yeah this was all for math and uh, the last uh, unit of study that I had told you is here in this drawer. I haven't made uh, um, any of this bo uh, DIY box. Uh, I don't have any place to keep it rather but uh, this is for English. So I am, I was teaching English to my child, uh, uh, reading to my child but somehow it's yet not complete. It takes time the blending takes time so again i have created this separate section for english and for this i will do a separate video because it would uh, otherwise make this video too long so there are many activities to teach english also but a separate video wait for it and yeah that was it a different unit of study so here in all i have geography i have uh, as a unit of study, I have animals as a unit of study. I have solar system as a unit of study. I have memory and concentration as a unit of study, math and English. So, yeah, that's it. If you have any question, do let me know in the comment section. And uh, do let me know how do you like these activities. And if you have any more ideas, please do share it with me. Happy learning. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Bye for now.